Hello again, it's me. We're back for another riveting session of Grimgore. Ironhide? That's right, I forgot his name for a second. Grimgore! Ironhide in Immortal Empires. I think where we left off last time was right at the pass where Imric is pushing north. So I have a feeling we're going to have to fight the dragon boy. Which could be bad. I don't know. I haven't fought dragons with this army. I don't... Well, I think the black orcs might be anti-large. I can't remember. I usually just wing it and it works out okay. Sometimes. That's what reloading a save is for, though. Anyway. If it's just settlements, we can take out his settlements. But if he shows up, I think he did have an army up there. I can't remember if I could see any of the units in that army, but we might spy on it. All right, Grimgore, my boy. Solkar. So he doesn't have any great units. So, I mean, he's not... He's not that crazy. I could take him, no problem. Ready for murder. Let's see. Yeah, my black orcs are not anti-large, which I thought they were. Do I not have any anti-large? Oh, my spider is anti-large. And my orc boar boy biggins are anti-large. And a Grim Grimgore's anti-everything. I got his weapon strength up to like 1100 in that quest battle, which was pretty sweet. I need to utilize him more. Need to play more map battles and see him just annihilate. Uh, so I don't want to... I am at war with Emric. I do remember that happening. Look at how far south he goes. Is he at war with Helmen? No. Shoot, I want him to be at war with Helmen. <sighs> Gold Tooth, you are disappointing. I mean, I'm not, I'm not doing terrible with my armies here. So did I... I'm at war with the Goramadni tribe. Is that who these are? The Goramadni tribe. Yeah. Um, so I have Azhag here. He's got almost a full stack. That's right. I'm bringing Gormog back for him. Jason told me, of all the things, he told me to disband Gormag. Gormog. And I said, I can't disband Gormog. He's traveled the whole world be such a jerk move if I got rid of him now. Granted, he's traveled the world and he's only a level three, so he hasn't really done much. But when I get him back in this army, you just wait. He's gonna start doing some work. These people make me nervous, Kazakh. I think I was at war with them and I recently, I recently, or I think they wanted a peace treaty. Okay. So, Grimgore needs to replenish these Night Goblins and my Ragnarok Spider. But I think I'm gonna come in here and do some raiding. See if I aggro a lot of armies. Oh! That's right, I have this guy too. You were also going up here to embed in Azag's army. So maybe I don't need Gormog. I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna keep Gormog. I don't know what I'll do with Gormog yet. Maybe Gormog can go over to the army with Glugzag. Yeah, now we're talking. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Because Glugzag is just kind of hanging out here with not many units, but he's just a safety precaution, hopefully to scare away people coming from the east. Oh boy, Cathay does not like me. That is a deep red. They do not like me at all. I haven't done anything to them except I've had treaties with the puppets of Misrule who they hate. Rakarth. Not Rakarth. I always say this is Rakarth. This is Lokir. Lokir is not doing too bad, but. Oh, interesting. So it must be Zhao Ming confederated with whoever held these gates because I think I think a different faction starts out with the gates. So he must have confederated. Okay. All right. Well, 
We are down in... We're down in Emmerich's territory. Raiding. This army is probably going to get mad at us. I don't know where Emmerich is. I'm hoping that the Skaven are causing him some issues. And also, he's got the Greenskins here. The Crooked Moon. Which... They're just at war with everybody because of the stupid, the stupid end game scenario, which I have decided from now on, whenever I play a faction that is involved in the end game scenario, I'm going to turn that particular one off because it literally makes no sense for your entire faction to just declare war on you. No, I'm not, I'm not about that. So, all right, we don't really don't have too much to do building upgrade here so I can upgrade my settlement buildings which is probably the smarter move also going to upgrade my garrison get some more income i got lots of money uh what should i put here i can't get any of these up to a tier four which stinks but i could get up to at least have like goblin night goblins orc biggins that's not terrible that's a pretty decent compromise i feel like i should have some military buildings that are nearby if I need to replenish. It really stinks to have to rely on global replenishment, especially if you get down a bit, so. Oh, I could build an outpost with gold tooth. So where do I want to build my settlement? I don't know if it matters. What's a place that is farthest away. So I can't build one at the Eagle Eries. Gorger Rock. Kirk Vrag. That's probably my best bet. A Rock of Rog. Alright, it's been a while. Let's see how we're doing on diplomacy. What? Oh, right. Everybody hates us. Darkling Even the bad people hate us. Tribal Fury. Peace Treaty with the Gormadney. I think I knew about this last time. And I decided I didn't want to do that because they have these other two settlements, which I want. So I'm going to take them. I think... Okay. I do have my WA meter up. So... I could do that against... Oh, no, no, no. Because Emmerich's capital is so far away. And I think I have to hold their capital at the end of the turns. And I know there's a lot of turns before that happens, but I, I, I just don't want to get my, in over my head, I don't think. One thing I don't know, I was thinking about this, is if I, can I do a wall with not Grimgor? Could I do it with Azhag? You, you, you want so peace treaty, don't you? Right 5,000 for a peace treaty. It's not a bad deal. I do want those other settlements. But maybe I could get on better terms with them and sell them this settlement, which is not making me all that much money, I don't think. Okay. All right, let's do this. Because we've got a lot of people that are angry with us. And I think taking one off the table is just going to make things easier. So Karak Vrag is only giving us 90 gold right now. I mean, this is going to make it a little bit more, 134. I think I can live without that. Um, I'm curious. I'm curious what they will... <laughs> To do if I try to sell it to them. So if I find Goramadni tribe, out with it. Trade settlement. You won't live to the end of your incoherent ramblings anyway. What was the settlement again? Kirkvalag. So you want to be our best friend. If we do this. And you'll pay me, well, not a lot. But you're probably poor. So. My allies will probably not like if I do 
military access, but it would be helpful if I decide to press down to where Kislev is. Okay, Kislev is gone. Basically gone. But, yeah, okay. Propose offer. Done. Thank you. And at least now with military access, I won't get in trouble for just hanging out at this settlement I was just camped in. Alright, so you sent your hero here to do some stuff. Um, I'm going to take this settlement. The night goblins have not replenished yet, but I think that's okay. I'm not worried about this Feet army time. yet. They haven't really... Not possible. Let's do it! Now, I did do a mod to play more land battles. So if it's not an important settlement with walls or whatnot, we play on the map, which I much, 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 much prefer. Even though I'm really not big on maps anyway. But the other cool thing that I did is I did a mod to get like special faction unit cards. So you see these spearmen kind of look different. I think that's from that mod, just to make it look a little bit cooler. So this mod I don't love because there's just a giant hill right here. Plus there's like no guys. I will, I'll wipe the floor with them. So I'm going to auto resolve this. Who should I give flaming attacks to? Base weapon damage plus 8%. I mean, I could give this to Grimgor. Make him super statted out. Yeah, so we're just gonna, I love that you can encircle, but it's, there's nothing. But we're just gonna auto resolve that. And we're going to, I should have sacked it. I forget that with the green skins you want to stack and then get get it back. And this Uzalok, I think now that I'm friends with the Goromet, I mean, we're not friends, but we're improving. Look at that jump. Yeah. They love me. Um, I think I want to... Well, I could have... Oh no, he's super far away. I want to take this settlement. That's what I'm trying to get at. And I think my only option is to take Azhag and lose a bunch of my army, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Why can't I move any further? That's odd. So. Glugzag. Sorry, buddy. I should get you more units, but it's not like I'm making that much money since I just sold off that settlement. Um, What could I get you, though? Oh, it's all global. Ooh. I don't love that. I could get you some Doom Diver catapults. Or a spider. Or some more or Oro Boys. Aero Boys. Look at that cost. The gobbles are so cheap. So cheap. I could get some Orc Boys. They're cheap ish. These goblins are super cheap. The Night Goblin Fanatics are pretty cheap. I think that's an Azhag. No, no, no. This is Glugzag, not Azhag. I'm going to get you another Goblin. I'm going to get you... Some Orc Boys. And I'm going to get you... A Doom Diver Catapult. And the Spider is pretty expensive, so... You're not going to get a spider, but I could get you two more things. Forest goblins, spider riders, poison attacks. Um, um, no, I could get you more archer guys. I could get you another one of these archer guys and then... How about I get you an orc biggin? Or another... Black orcs are kind of expensive, but... Um... I, like, never play with cavalry. But I could get you... What's this? Goblin wolf chariots? Could do that. I can get you goblin wolf chariots. There you go. And then we're going to give you Gormog. Because I don't know what else to do with him. Once he gets back. Oh. 
We could take you up down, sneak and see if we can find where Imrik is. So the issue with this is that once we once we start taking out Imrik, we've got to take out this green skin garbage. Okay. All right. Who's got skills? So Scrammed or Ruffy's got skills. We have not maxed you out yet. No, you still got some more stuff here. So weapon strength. We were doing charge bonus. We were doing, that's it. Leadership don't care about. So I'll give you weapon strength and you are the only one that leveled up for some odd reason. Um, granite spikes. I think I was going to sell this to, oh, nuts. I can't because... I'm replenishing. I probably can. I was going to sell this to Gold Tooth. I'm going to just hold off on that. So, is there anything else that we can upgrade? Ooh, we're getting close to fully upgrading out this settlement, which is neato. These little ones are fully decked out. Uh, we could get our Doom Diver catapults up here. Sure, sure. Oh. But if we wanted to save our money, we could get this all the way up to tier 5 in a couple turns. We just have to not buy anything more. And also we're going to lose some of that money. Yeah, because we just gave Glugzag a bunch of units, but that's okay. Man, I feel like these turns go by so fast. We're getting down to the more more of the big factions, the, one that actually, the ones that actually make, well, don't make sense, but the ones that are important for the game. Man, we're not looking good against the other greenskins, though. I may have to wall one of them just to have a chance at fighting them. Because if they've got multiple armies with wall units, then... That's gonna be in trouble. Uh-oh. Spirit of the jungle. Uh-oh. Alright, so we still don't have enough yet to upgrade. Which one was it? Mm. Oh, this one. Kadatha. What was over here? We had one random... Oh, derp. This is the one that we're currently at. So we were bringing Azhag over here. And he's going to take take his sweet time getting over here. So the Dimmed Sons are going after Gora Madney, which doesn't really affect me anymore. I mean, we're kind of on good terms. Yeah. Um, Grimgore. I've heard about this weird green bar that shows up. I think Jason had this on one of his videos. It may have been in the same area, actually. So we're fully replenished, and we can just keep... Keep on keeping on. What do I want to do? Do I want to go down to the southeast or the southwest? Oof. Crack a teeth rubber. He's coming up that way. I'm going to come out the other way. Let's see. Let's do some underway traversing. We're going to go to the Falls of Doom. And Gormog. Where's Emric? I don't think I want him. I wonder if I can do some sneaky stabbings. Hinder replenishment. I mean, they're not replenishing, so. I feel like that's just a waste. So let's. Uh, Let's just follow the road. I know we'll take the scenic route, but... Oh, I don't have enough money yet to do that, so I'm gonna pass, and... Let's just check our diplomacy. You dare. By the, cruel seas. the Blessed Dread wants a defensive alliance with me. Okay. Amuse the Kraken Lord of Karen Kar, or suffer my displeasure. It shall be done. Anybody else? Ring fire. Cops. Nope. <laughs> Imric really doesn't like me. 
Either does Balthazar. Oh well, I don't want an outpost because I want next turn to get enough money to upgrade that one province to tier 5. What's this low here? Quick, you, me in a good mood. you want me to go to war with... Yeah, that's what I thought. You want me to go to war against Zhao Ming? Yeah, Zhao Ming. Uh, no. I know we're friends now and all, but that doesn't mean that I'm just going to suddenly start getting involved with your little shenanigans. It'd be really nice if those green skins took out my other enemies, but then that, I think that would just make them stronger, which is not good for me when I run into them, so... I may have to bring Azhag down here anyway as backup. All right, let's see. A great migration of the tribes come in, comes to our borders, demanding shelter and wanting to join into fighting. Not normally a problem, but this don't smell right. Get out of here. Ain't no zogging room for these get. Shove off. More boys, the bigger the war. That's logic. Don't matter if some of them stink. So I could go with growth. But negative control or negative growth. I think I'm going to go with control. Okay. Does this WA meter ever go down once it's filled up? I hope not because I'm just hanging out here with it full. Alright, we have enough to upgrade this province to full. And then we can get rid of growth. And control is probably a good thing right now. Income will be nice eventually, but for right now, I want control. All right, Grim Goal. Oh, nuts. <laughs> Mazra Bogroff. Well, rats. If you're going that way, but is this the Falls of Dune? It's one of the ones I want, though, so. Ready for murdering. Let's see what happens. Let's see if I can take on your Stop army right that has a lot of things in it. <laughs> I don't know if I can. Look at this. So black orcs, orc biggins, night goblin fanatics. I don't... Get down, get. Orc boys, goblins. Good gracious. Um, where is the crooked... Crooked Moon. See, if I declare war on him, I've got so far to go. Wow. Nets. Nets. Although, I don't have enough money to colonize this. Sugar. I should have. I should have done something. So, Emrek is mobilizing the troops we're gonna follow the road apparently we're not gonna follow the road we're just gonna go across the desert that's fine would have been easier to follow the road but all right um all right i'm nervous speak quick because you caught me in a good Join war against somebody. Tong. No, you've got bigger problems, Greasus, than Tong. This uh, Crooked Moon army really kind of makes me nervous. Kind of makes me nervous. Probably should have just let them deal with Imric, but like I said, if I let them get too powerful, then I really will be in a bad spot. However, if I could get closer to their capital, if I declared war on them, aren't they? Oh, no. Oh, they're backing off. Um... That was not the same army. Where's that other army? 
I bet they went to ambush mode. Um, I could do my biggest wall because the crooked moon are likely to be in the top ten. Crooked moon. Oh, wait, they're up here. I forget it goes in alphabetical order. No, where is it? Where's the green skins? Oh, jeez. It's at the top. The crooked moon are number three. So, yeah, I would get the biggest wall with that, but... I'm not confident in my abilities. Alright, so... I don't want to waste my time with them. I could sack it, but... I want to... I want to focus on the crooked moon that are coming up. So now I have enough money for Azhag to colonize. Province secured. That is good. So now I can start pumping some growth into this that building. I'm really kind of nervous about the Falls of Doom. So we're going to build that up first. And... Are you done? You are. So now I could sell this off to... Sell this uh, granite spikes off to Goldtooth. Maybe give him a little boost. See if he can help me out with the green skin issue. So, ogres. Ogres, my lord. You've proven yourself useful to the ogre tyrant. Granite spikes. How much money? 7,000? Okay. Yeah, you can have Rich it. Swing. Kick me out, will you? Alright. So, Glugzag, my boy. Where should we go with you? Village is just uh, having a grand old time here. But we're on decent terms with Village right now. I could bring Glugzag down to start messing with the vampires. I'm just afraid that all of a sudden Village will declare war on me. And I'll be defenseless. But. That's a risk. The risk I must take. Azhag's gonna be there for a while. Gormog. Follow the road, Gormog. You don't care about roads. You forge your own path. Still no sign of Imric. Skaven's there. Skaven's there, there. Although this Skaven corruption is going down, so I bet that they got wiped out there. Technologies. So we got the biggest wall, so we're getting some good reputation. Um, Scrap upgrades. This is for spider riders. Don't really care. Boar painting. Boar riding. Abuse them. Oh, this would be good. I can't believe I didn't get that yet. For goblin units, that would definitely be useful. Grimgore. So I've built into my army quite a bit. I could go back and... Yeah, this was for my rogue. I think I'm going to do some of these things up here, though. Like, devastating charge. I just don't like having empty things here. I know it's stupid, but I can't help it. Let's build some walls. Let's build you up. Let's build these walls. That would get all rid of all my money. Growth. Um, I'm going to hold off on this. I don't need any of these buildings right now. But I do want my walls. And now I'm broke. What could I do over here? I'm going to eventually need walls. Okay. I don't need growth anymore because I'm good there. Okay. Oh, my wall meter is just sitting there full. But I think Emmerich's thing is so far. However, if I made a beeline for it, I probably could get there and hold it. Maybe. I'm just afraid of getting intercepted by the the other 
guys, but... Are you going to declare war on me, village? Say something interesting, then. War is close, little That's puppets. not a good sign. Do you wish a boot? That's not a good sign. It's just as I predicted. Might have to send Glugzag back. Like he's going to hold that whole entire eastern front. Probably not. But, negative growth, go home. Yeah, Glugzag, let's, um, uh... Let's uh, start to... You're not Glugzag. Who are you? I don't care about you. I care about Glugzag. Um, let's get you... Let's get you going back home. Gormog. You are going to keep following this road. One time you sort of stuck to the road, so good for you. Is your name Blorg? That's really unfortunate. Um... So I think Emmerich's capital is Bone Gulch, Fortress of Vorag. I think that's his capital. I mean, we're pretty far, but we could definitely get there within, like, what is it? 17, 18 turns? Hmm. Let's look at this real quick. So we're running out of technologies, basically. We have four left that require scrap. So, I guess we'll just start putting stuff in here. Um, so this is scrap upgrades for wolf people. Which I don't really care about. I do have some orc boar units. Orc boar boys, savage orc boar boys, biggins. <sighs> well, we'll get them all eventually, so we may as well just start doing that. Is it stupid? Is it really stupid? The thing is, if I did a wall, I'd have two stacks for fighting against the greenskins, too. Do your wall units replenish? I don't think they do. Okay. What's the worst that happens? Oh, man. Too bad. Too bad Emmerich isn't in the top ten. Helm and Gorse is close. Yeah. I wonder if I could get to... That's a really far ways away. I mean, they're all pretty far. I could... Do the war on the crooked moon. I feel like this could really go downhill, but I'm gonna do it. We're gonna. Oh, okay. Mork or Gork? Missile strength or weapon strength? I'm gonna go with missile strength. Carrick Eight Peaks. Okay. We are gonna have to hustle. Alright, so. Let's. I've got 20 turns to get there. Can I get there in 20 turns? Oh dear, what have I done? Alright, we're gonna have to force march. Which is gonna get really bad because I won't be able to retreat if we get stuck here. In the battle with slug a squig beard and we're gonna be we're gonna be tired this is a horrible idea whose idea was this horrible horrible idea as like you're gonna come with us because if I get in a bad spot and my army dies I'm gonna need you to pick up this lag oh <sighs> nervous I'm so nervous um let's get some I can't do that Get some growth or money. Money would be nice. Money would be nice. Apparently I still have a... Oh. I uh, have growth here. Money would be swell. And I can still... Good grief. More money. Alright. Oh, man. 
What have I done? The AI will most certainly punish me for my choices. Let's talk. I could kill you later if you say something stupid. Military access. Sure. Why not? You're the only one that loves me. The dwarves really hate me. They should love me because I'm going after the greenskins, which hold Carrick Eight Peaks, which is where I think Belagar wants to go. Which, the fact that he hasn't taken it yet. What is he even doing? It's been many turns. Okay. Oh, man. All right, Grimgore. I don't know where that army went. Oh, I'm so nervous. Come on, this way. In the motion. I do have scrap now, so I could put... See, the thing is, I don't have enough scrap for my technology, but I could put more scrap on these guys. So, bonus versus infantry, I think, is what I did before. Yeah. Oh, dear. Although, I wonder if I should have two for large... Um, no, I'm just going to do infantry. Make it easy. All right, so don't have enough yet. All right, Azhag. I think Azhag pr could probably go through here and do some cleanup. Cleanup of these other province or settlements. All right, Glugzag, you are going to go over here. And then Gormog. Nog flag gut smasher. Um, I want you to wreak havoc on some of these things on Blorg. Wreak havoc on Blorg. All right, give me more money. Uh, we'll go up to that. We'll do some more growth. And we could do nothing there. And we've already got money there. Yeah, there's really nothing that we can do. Okay. I'm just waiting for this to be a horrible, horrible, horrible decision. I got super greedy, though. It all just depends on if they come after me. If I can just beeline it there and not fight anything on the way, I'll be okay. But if I have to stop and like replenish before I get to Carrick Eight Peaks, then it's going to be a different story. And Force March is always a gamble because you can't retreat and you're tired, so you have some penalties. All right. Ready for murder. So we've got Solcar here, which I would appreciate if you would just leave me alone, because I just want to bypass. Where's Carrick Eight Peaks? Yikes! Once we get in the mountains, though, we can use the underway. It's just the underway is really not going to help us in this wide open space. All right, you are going to underway over here, and get ready next turn to take out the Silver Pinnacle. Lord has not moved. Glugzag, you have not moved. Um, I think Glugzag, I'm going to have you just sit there. Because again, I have a feeling Village is going to stab me in the back. Alright, Goldtooth, you have a full army. Just replenish and attack them. Why are you raiding? Why are you raiding? Replenish and attack them. Alright, can you hinder replenishment? Success! Perfect. Okay. So we'll start pumping you into that. Since I'm not going to have you in an army anytime soon, we'll start pumping stuff into your hero actions. 
Oh, what do we got here? Let's let's do some orcs and I think I can't afford anything else other than the cavalry, which I really don't want to do. Building upgrade. Yeah, there's really nothing here that I want to do either. Do that, I guess. Got money there. Don't really care. How's our diplomacy looking? Pox makers of Nurgle. I mean, they're already enemies with my enemies, so. Why not? Now, my Admiral of Kars, welcome to the Blessed Dread. Will you be staying? Mathlan wills it. Okay. Anybody want a peace treaty? Anybody? <laughs> no? Um, I could do an outpost with probably Lokir, but I don't have the money to spend on that right now. Okay. Please let this keep going well. Please. The more turns that go by, the bigger our Wa army will become. And if we start taking attrition from something, I can go into the underway stance. I don't think that affects my Wa units, but that's okay. We're out of the chaos wastes, at least. So the climate down here is better for us. I think Azhag's going to get into trouble, though, because all these Crooked Moon armies are going to start coming up to the settlements that I've just started taking. Okay, so... They know I'm here. And Underway Stance is not going to get me far enough. Okay. Keep going, keep going, keep going, Grimgor. I know this is counter to what you want to do, but... Okay. Decisive victory. Sack it! And then technically I could occupy it now. Hehe. <laughs> okay. So, technologies... I think in the next turn, I'm making 20 per turn, I could get last scrap upgrade for my black orc, so I'm going to hold off on that. Alright, I've got some money to play with at least, so I can upgrade some of my provinces down here, give these some walls, because they're going to need them. Get some more money. Fix this place up just a bit. What's this? Income. That's pretty decent income. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. And what's over here? Night Goblin or Shaman, Orc Shaman. It's the Doom Diver Catapults. That would be pretty sweet. Is there anything better? Oh, we could do... Nothing really that I care about. Catapults. We could get some Black Orc boys here. Oh, I think I want to get my walls here first. And I could do spiders here. Yeah, I'll do a spider here. Okay. Lugzag, sorry, my boy, but you're just going to have to hang out. Oh, that is nice. I, I, I wasn't sure if your secondary armies also got Wa armies, but it appears they do. Azhag the Slaughterer. Um, so you almost have all of your spells. You overcasted spells. So I'm going to... Just keep pumping you into that. Jason told me that there's some really good... Is it Foot of Gork? There was some really good spell for the Greenskins have that he had with Wurzag. But I don't remember what it was called. Spell time. Failure! It's alright, you'll try again next time. Um... Yeah, let's just keep building up our, our money here and put some growth there. Research available, I understand, but I don't care all that much. Darkness. Ready to swordfish! The swordfish is ready to sail. Yes. We're just gonna diplomatize with all the Watch. evil people. Ick it claw. Now what do you want from me? Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Pay me money for your alliance. Agreed. There, Jason will be happy with me that I I didn't confederate. I uh, diplomatized with his his boy. Okay. Okay. Oh man, I'm just waiting for this to go horribly wrong. I'm curious though, when we even get to Karagay Peaks, if we can. Now then, speak quick, cause you caught me in a good mood. What do you want, Loki? I don't want to go to war with them. They're right on my. Well, no, actually. No, I, I don't want to do that right now, thank you. I've got some other things I've got to take care of. I'm heading deep into enemy territory. I'm pretty high strength rating, and I don't even have the ultimate wall that these other green skins do. Like, I, I know I've got a wall going on here, but it's not the ultimate wall. Okay. War fervor or obedience. I mean, I can afford 750. That's fine by me. Alright. So, Grimgore. Where are we at? Oh, we're over here. Alright. Alright. We can do this. We can do this. So far, I have not run into those other armies. As hag, you were replenishing. So you guys have a couple of armies over here. I think I'm going to just keep sending you down south. Okay, so you're not replenishing anymore, which kind of stinks, but I can raid and replenish. The green skins are the best. Garrison Lord not moved. All right, I understand Blugzag has not moved. I really should just disband this army, but as soon as I do, I'm sure Village is going to declare war on me and then I'll be in trouble. So let's do more of that and some more growth. Hero not moved. Yeah, let's try. Failure. It's all right. It's all right. You'll get it. You'll get it. Okay, scrap. I'm only getting 10 this turn. So this next turn is when I can get my upgrade for my final Black Orcs. Who do you want me to go to war with now? Shocker. Gormadney tribe. Who are you even close to them? No. I think you're only at war with them because I was at war with them and you're my friend, so. This little settlement makes me nervous because they are, they're building up some armies and I have not yet built up my regions that I've taken up here. I mean, Azhag could probably take one of them. Where did you go? Where did you go? I think you were Blorg. Was that who was right there? Blorg? Blorg? Oh, Muzrub. Muzrub? Alright, so you are going south. That's acceptable. Um, This is not acceptable, though. You look right yet! Wow, they do have like neat color changes for the faction. Yeah, this is a better army than mine. So if I go back here, I don't want to be raiding myself, but I'm just gonna hang out there for now. Grimgore, put some bonuses on these guys. All right, so they're all decked out. All right, I think this is the final force march. Well, 
If I go to Underway, yeah, I'm not yet in the mountains. So once I get here, maybe the Underway will help me maneuver a little bit more. We still got time. We have 15 more turns, so we're making good time. And then we just have to occupy it. So, I mean, I was, or raise it, but I was going to sack it and then, yeah. And then while we're down here, maybe we can just start taking out their unoccupied settlements out here as long as they don't, as long as they don't come get me up here. I mean, should I take Glugzag down? I feel like I should maybe take him over to the Saber Mountain. He's not going to do much, but it would be better than nothing. Better than just the the uh, settlement garrison. All right, Ragook, what do we got here? So, weapon strength. Yeah, I think we'll give you your final ambusher vanguard deployment. I mean, that's not that great. So, let's get you your final weapon strength. Hero not moved. Critical failure. Aw, you did so well for so long until you didn't. What do I want to put here? I'm going to put some... I'm going to put those... The uh, catapult tree in this one and now I'm poor again. So, can I make money Too from diplomacy? Rot. My minions are rest agreed. A little bit. Gosh. Okay. Let's keep an eye on Grimgor. Where am I? Let's keep an eye on you, Grimgor. At this point, I mean, Grimgor himself is a force to be reckoned with, so if we have to, we've got him at least. Imric is just following me. The AI loves to just swarm armies with heroes. And I don't know, I think that they are trying to do hero actions against the armies, but I've never seen that many succeed, to be honest. The unfortunate thing would be if they all do the the one that would um, slow me down so that I can't move as far. That would not be good. But if I go into underway stance... Well, I guess the underway still isn't great. Yeah, no. It's definitely better to force march still through the mountains. Alright, we're so close. Please don't let anything go poorly now. Oh, Skarsnik is there! Shoot! That's gonna be hard. Think again. That's gonna be really hard. Well... We'll deal with that when we get there. You are raiding me, which is not very nice. The Falls of Doom has a small garrison, but not much. I'll pump some... Well, I would like to put walls there, but I don't have enough money yet. Can I diplomatize and get any more money? Come on, guys. Give me money. Nobody wants to give me money. <sighs> Alright. Azhag is going to come out. Maybe I can lure him away from my settlement there. Glugzag. Put you in the Saber Mountain. Just to watch that. Village is really not liking me. I don't even know where his army is. Oh, there he is. He's down by Goldtooth. Goldtooth! Replenish your armies, my boy. Replenish your armies. Because village is probably fine. That's it. Okay, let's uh, do some growth there. I know I'm rushing through turns right now, but I'm really antsy just to get to Carrigate Peaks. And I have a feeling I, I'm, it's going to be a defeat at first. I just know that it is because he's got his full army. He's got a Wa army. He's got the settlement garrison, which has, you know, is a tier five 
uh, citadel building or whatever you call it, and it has tier four garrison. So it's decked out. Um, and if it comes down to it, we may just have to fight on the map, and that would be a critical battle. A critical battle. That might be one that I I would consider auto saving and trying again. Okay. I'm coming. Um, so as I get closer, I think I'm gonna underway so that I don't get caught by him. If Skarsnik comes out, that would probably be ideal. Something wrong with your aid. So right now he doesn't have a full army. I thought he did. He has a full Wa army, which is typically weaker. So his army is he's got a lot of Doom Diver catapults. I mean, this isn't anything that I can't handle because my army is all tier nine. Well, these guys are not, but they're close. My black orcs are all tier nine, rank nine, whatever. Okay. As hag, have you lured that guy out? He's heading back. So. Alright, Glugzak, I'm gonna have you just sit in there. Just to be safe. Meanwhile, we'll spend our money. I said, I know I'm flying through this stuff right now. But we are very, very close to getting there with Grimgore. May have to just end it with a battle. Because I know it's we're getting up on an hour. Yeah, we're we're past our hour. Um But I really want to get to at least get to Caregate Peaks. And the closer we get, I'm just curious if Skarsnik will aggro and come out at us, or if he'll stay hold up in there replenishing. And then it's going to be very difficult because it's going to be my two armies against probably, well, three armies. If you count the garrison, the garrison, Skarsnik, and his Wa army. Which, with this endgame thing, do they they must just have infinite Wa. Like, it just never goes away. Let's go. Okay, so we get a little bit closer. So it'll be next turn. He's building up another army here, which stinks. No! We're gonna get a little bit closer to you, crack a teeth rubba. You're making our control go down. Our public's not happy. Okay. Throw some walls here. Ooh, I could have. I think I need walls for this. I'll I'll get this next next time. Okay. This could be a deciding turn. What will Skarsnik do? Will Skarsnik come out and attack me in the underway, or will he stay in there and I will have to start sieging him? If I start sieging him, will he attack me? Oh. Oh. So it's a close victory. He used a lightning strike, which is interesting. I mean, I, I didn't use lightning strike. And it's a close victory with medium casualties. This isn't bad. This this is like whoa, this is like way better. He's got three lava arachnorock spiders. 
It must be because of Grimgore, because Grimgore's a beast. Okay. I don't dare fight this on the map. I do not dare fight this on the map. <sighs> so, I'm sorry. Anticlimactic. But... Um, I'm going to give a little bit of replenishment. I know it's not much, but I need all that I can get because I think I'm going to have to go into raiding camp stance and raid to get my replenishment back up because I think it's still going to be hard to take Karagate Peaks. And then I think we're just going to have to camp out at Karagate Peaks. For fervor, leadership or recruiting surplus. I'm not actively recruiting, so I'm going to go with fervor. Form conforter. What happens if you confederate with your wa target? Okay. I feel like this is probably a bad idea because if I confederate with my wa target, what happens? But I want to see what happens because I can confederate with an endgame scenario. I'm more curious than anything, so. Oh. Oh, look at that. Ho oh. ho. Boys, we're gonna have to disband some armies. So I was being besieged. But I'm not anymore because you are now under my. So now I'm. <laughs> Am I a. <laughs> Am I my own WA target? <laughs> what is happening here? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. That's so funny. Well, I guess maybe maybe I <laughs> Okay, I have to disband some armies here. Um Rank 16. I mean, I don't want to do this, rank 11. But I can't afford this. Look how much money I'm losing. It's because there's so many flipping armies going on here. Oh, bother. Uh, oh, good grief. All right, see. Let's start by getting rid of you. All right. Start by getting rid of you. I already killed Scar's neck. Um, good gracious. What are these squigs? Who wants these squigs? I feel bad getting rid of. I just, I have to do it though. Like, I can't afford these armies. It can't, it can't. And then I think this guy over here that was, who's this? Grimgor, Ornery. We don't need you, Ornery. I think we're gonna start making some money now, though. Move. I kind of want to keep the guys that are higher. Yes, boss. All right, I'm gonna get rid of some of these rando yes, heroes. Great and powerful war boss. I'm gonna get rid of squigs. Why do you have three rogue idols? What the? What are you doing, my my dude? All right then. Do it. I'm gonna end up rebuilding these armies, I think. Great and powerful war boss. Boss of them night goblins. Alright, so we're at best. least in the positive now that we've gotten rid of some of these units that we don't really care about. I'm the boss. Who needs stabbing? Not so, orcs and black orcs we can keep. Night goblin fanatics. I only want them if they are archers. Goblins, night goblins, nasty skulkers. Alright, so we're, we're getting to where we're making money again. Why do we have orc boar boy biggins? What? Savage orc error boys. This one's not too bad, actually. So, aside from the trolls, and then probably what I'll do is I'm going to start merging some of these armies together and then disbanding lords. So, this guy's 16, 11. 
This guy is 22. So... So many goblins, scars, and eggs. Seriously. Alright, we've got enough scrap here to do some of this stuff. Alright, so Azag, now you can focus on coming down here to take out Imric some more. Oh my goodness. Alright. Well, well, well. That was quite a turn of events. Um, <laughs> let's go through and give our guys some skills, some level up. Um, so I'm going to go with weapon strength one last time for you. So for you, we have, we've filled out all of this ambusher charge bonus. So you're on a spider, so you already have, you already have some charge bonus, so... And then Grimgor will give you your final charge bonus. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. So, let me spend my money. I'm gonna get rid of the squigs because I don't anticipate myself getting squigs at all. What does the squig building look like? Oh, it's like a little. Little frog man. Uh, I don't want to level up any of these just yet because I want to make sure that my provinces down here have good walls and such. So again, I don't want squigs. What's this? What? No, just no. Um. All right. So this one. Now let's start spending our money a little bit. So this one can go up to tier four. And this... I... Yeah. I, I said I wasn't going to do the ones up here, but... I've got to wait some turns for the ones down here anyway, so... Building upgrade. So this has already got full growth. So this province... We could do... Income would be nice to income. Let's see. We don't have this province. This one we've got as income. This one we've got as growth and control, which I think we still need. We don't have this province. This one is growth. Oh, this is income. So we're doing good on control there. This one is growth. This one is growth. Growth. Don't have that one. Don't have that one. Okay. All right. So I think I'm going to end my turn. And I think that's probably where I'm going to call it for this video. The I'm just kind of flabbergasted. That's so funny that that's even an option. Oh, what do you want, Loki? So you really want me to join war, but I will not do it. So now I'm rank two. And... There's just a lot going on. I I just can't believe that I was able to confederate with an endgame scenario thing. But, I mean, assuming that the WA works the way I think it will, if I have Carrick 8 Peaks, then I win the WA, right? And if I'm doing a WA against myself now, like, I'm ranked number two, so... Anyway. But yeah! Um, I'm gonna just hop Grimgore in here so I can fully replenish and yeah I think I think that's that's probably where I'm gonna end it for today so thanks for hanging in there I know we didn't do any battles but next time will be, certainly be exciting because we've got a lot more armies now and we can do a lot more aggressive expansion so things are hopefully looking up from here but anyway thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time <laughs>